What are you doing? If you do that, I'll... <sighs> Moron. Bleh. Alright guys, and welcome back to more Shimigami Tensei Double Survivor 2 Record Breaker, and we are winding down to the end of the game. We are very close. We don't even have that many more events to watch. We have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. We have 7 events to watch, and we're going to try to watch them all. Well, technically, there's probably a few more events we can watch, because... After we get done watching these three, they probably branch on they they branch off until their last event. So Joe has one more event after Lazy Consideration, I believe, and then Kata has one more after Strength of Will, I believe, and so does uh, your girl Hinako. And what we're gonna do here, we're pretty much gonna save these the ones up here for last, and we just wanna pretty much just get Joe, Kata, and Hinako out of the way right now. So that's what we're gonna do this episode is pretty much just watch all these side events and see how many we can actually watch I know for a fact we won't be able to save them all into one file but the ones that I do like the, the ones that I do keep on file I'll let you guys know but for right now all we want to do is get right on into it Let's start with lazy consideration coke store whoa Joe is reading a manga magazine okay he's reading manga Yo there. Was it necessary for them to say manga magazine? Couldn't they just say magazine or just manga? Did they really say have to say both? I was just reading the latest chapter of Offside Goalie Masashi. Offside Goalie Masashi. And just my luck, they're never gonna finish the series. I don't know how it'll all end. Kinda like us, huh? Not if we regress the world. What fate lies ahead for Demon Smasher Joe and his plucky band of junior Demon Smashers? To be continued in next week's chapter. Hey, I think I'd actually read something like that. Shouldn't you go see your girlfriend? Yeah, it's all good. Her royal Hotsuiness sent over some medical supplies, so she's gonna be just fine. I agree. You're pretty irresponsible. Let's say that. Hmm, do I seem like I am? I don't think I am. I mean, if I go over there, isn't it bad luck? Like saying, hey, I'm gonna die, just wanted to tie up some loose ends first. Besides, I haven't popped the question yet, right? So I can't die. That's just how the universe works. Plus, come on, she's a smart cookie. She'd see right through me and figure out that we were heading into certain doom. And that'd just make her worry. I don't want to make her worry, do I? That's just plain cruel. So, nope. I say we waltz over there, take down Cornucopus, and then waltz back like nothing happened. Sounds good to me. That doesn't sound half bad. See? You're picking up what I'm laying down. We just need to relax, like it's no big deal. That's how things go smoothly. I'm not gonna worry too much this time around. Alright, I see you all here, Joe. I see you. We've got the whole gang together again. And even better, we've got one heck of a badass, demon-smashing, rarely-speaking leader. We've got this in the bag. <laughs> rarely-speaking leader. <laughs> Let me just go out there and do our best. He's the only one that actually made any kind of reference to the protagonist not at all ever speaking. You know what I'm saying? I've been making that joke all playthrough, and now Joe actually says it. That's pretty funny. Well, I'm gonna finish up my manga, and then I think I'm good to go. I'll see you soon, kid. Alright, later, Jill. Oh, that was it for Joe. Apparently, that was it for Joe. Okay, cool. So, we're gonna go to Strength of Will with Kata. You hear people clamoring. You go to investigate and discover the thugs who attacked the market are forming a small army. Oh, it's you. Uh, check that out. Remember them? Those are the guys who tried to steal rations the other day. Looks like they're back to get even. They brought more guys this time. 
I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the crap. Kira watches the market worker and a little boy confronting the army of thugs. <laughs> All of you are already dead! You hear me? It's too late to say you're sorry! And we got a special guest! This is the incinerating fire of Nanba! We're gonna torch this joint to the ground! <laughs> Those bastards brought a Molotov cocktail? Uh, the nerve! We're in the middle of a fuel shortage! You can bring all the people you want. We're not scared of you. Yeah, she's right. G get out of here. Ah! Damn. The boy tries to push back one of the thugs. The hooligan shrugs off the attack and hurls the boy to the ground, causing the boy to lose 99% of his health. Aw, oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> you think you and your little attack dog can stop us? Where are your friends at now, huh? <laughs> What an asshole. The market's owner and the boy glared defiantly at the thugs, though they are clearly trembling and are in need of healing. What the hell are they doing? They should just get out of there. You're outnumbered. You're at a disadvantage. You know what? I still think the weak should die. Are they weak? <laughs> Those three are outnumbered by bigger guys, but they still won't back down. That's because they're strong. So I'm not gonna save them. I'm gonna back them up. Get it, runs forward and leaves in front of the army of thugs. <laughs> Is that? We're gonna burn it down! <laughs> huh? Oh, you about to catch them hands. Whoa! Ain't you that high school boxer kid? Keita Wakui? Oh crap! Guys! It's the Raging Wolf of Minami! So, you already know me, huh? Hey, Shiv. We meet again. Except this time, I'm feeling just a little annoyed. So I'd run, if I were you. Th this time? I don't think we've met. <laughs> Never mind that. That's my business. Huh? Wait! We can talk this out! No! Ah! And the violent thug died a violent death. Thanks to Kata, all the thugs ran away. Um, thank you. Christina V was scared. You don't have to thank me. It's not like I rescued you. I just wanted to make sure it was a fair fight. Huh? But you're really tough. You took them out all by yourself. You were like, like an awesome wolf. If I'm strong like you, I can protect my mom and little sister. I want to be just like you. Don't, kid. Everyone's got their own kind of power. Being a good fighter isn't the only kind of strength. I, I, I've said too much. We're out of here. I smell... What, what was that? I smell character development. It seems Kedit wants to leave as soon as possible. <laughs> soon did a kid. <laughs> soon did a boxer. Huh? <laughs> Maybe so, huh? You guys called me that so many times, I'm starting to feel like one. <laughs> Kedit smirks mischievously. Alright, so we just got done watching the soon did a boxer going ham in his own uh, little event but it looks like he has another one we can view right here so let's go ahead and immediately view inherited strength kid is standing next to a sandbag and a boy is hitting his fist against it whoa is that the same boy we've seen before don't go in with your arm moron you, you gotta twist your whole body y yes coach ah! there it is don't forget that feeling. The boy hits the punching bag just as Kata taught. The supermarket clerk walks up to you. Oh, weren't you the guy with Kata the other day? The kid really wanted to learn how to box after Kata sent those thugs running. Man, market lady, are you okay? You look like you're going through some kind of withdrawals. <laughs> like, she's literally, look, she's got her arms around her damn 
Or she's got her hands around her arm, dude. Makes it look like she's going through some withdrawal. I didn't think Kato would do it, but the boy just kept begging until he gave in. Kato's actually a really good coach. Is he now? And look at this. The supermarket clerk holds out a cup of Chanwan Mushi. Kato brought it for me. He said one of his friends made it. He might seem cold, but he's got a really good heart. He's a fighter for sure, but he can be caring. Oh, Keita! Hey, didn't notice you were here. Did I tell you to stop, kid? No, coach! <laughs> Hi, coach. Guess I can't persuade you to forget what you just saw, huh? Man, you really are a pain in the ass. Yup, yup. The kid wouldn't take no for an answer. He's a tenacious little runt. He's actually pretty good. I'm looking forward to how he'll be in five, maybe even three years. Kid looks at the boy. You know, I still can't forgive weakness. But if a person wants to become stronger and get rid of that weakness, then they're no longer weak. You can always learn how to fight, always keep getting tougher. It's all about your dedication. What is this? Is this some sort of character development? What the hell? Let's say this. What the hell does Dere Dere mean? I'm a soon Dere boxer. Get it right, or I will freaking crush you. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> he just admitted to being a soon Dere boxer. Forget I said anything, or I'll crush. Whatever. Kid blushes and runs back to the boy. Oh boy. Alright guys, what is going on? We just got done watching Kata's string of events and we have already gotten done. Uh, we already viewed Hinako's event right here. We've seen this like two weeks ago and then we already we just got done watching Joe's as well. And now what we want to do is just watch the events we haven't seen yet. So we haven't seen Daichi's, Makoto's, Jungo's, or Ronaldo's. So what we're going to do is actually finish finish off today's events by watching uh, Daichi's last so we're gonna watch No Casualties. Miyako and Egypt's agents are talking. What were the results of the recent seek and destroy operation? No casualties amongst our unit. We neutralized the demons as planned. Were there civilian casualties? No casualties Chief Hotsuin. That's impossible. All our predictions showed an inevitable 40% casualty rate. Please explain, Agent. We had the cooperation of civilian app users, ma'am. With their help, we were able to surround and exterminate the demons. Civilian app users? They proposed we work together. So we joined forces to put down the demon threat. This went against our original strategy, but I felt it was the best decision in the field. I accept full responsibility. Thank you, Agent. Please return to Perimeter Watch. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Hmm. Ah, oh, you came. Like always. Civilians are meant to be protected. Yet, by working together with those civilians, everyone was kept safe. Huh. A different possibility. What do you know? I couldn't believe my ears. Humans aren't numbers. He's right. Every civilian and every agent think and worry. We all share these struggles together. Mr. Kuriki? Together they chose the best way to protect everybody involved. Just like you do. We all want to save people. Gyps and civilians alike. That's why we must join forces. We can save so many innocent lives. Even if we did ally, it's impossible to save everybody. There's no guarantee that next time will go as smoothly. Of course, even I don't believe such fantasies. That doesn't mean we shouldn't strive to save as many lives as we can. That's why I'm here. I humbly request that you order your agents to cooperate with civilian tamers. Please, Miss Hotsuin, I beg of you. Ronaldo bows down to Miyako. Bow with Ronaldo. Y you think so too? 
First you oppose me, and now you bow your head and beg a favor. Mr. Kuriki, I'm concerned with aspects of your proposal. <laughs> However, I cannot deny the results garnered by my staff working together with civilian tamers. Considering the rate at which our force is decreasing, I must agree that building a common front is the best decision. I shall give a formal order to my staff. They will cooperate with your app users and do their utmost to save all lives that can be saved. We did it! Yeah! Yeah! I merely decided <laughs> that your proposal was logical. No problem. <laughs> Damn it, Brock. Keep in mind, this is nothing more than a temporary alliance. It will help us all to endure until this catastrophe is over. Do not forget, we need to defeat Canopus to put an end to this. We must win, at all costs. I shall take my leave. New strategies must be formulated. Yako briskly walks away. I will not fail. We will unite so that we can emerge victorious. No, so we can take back all our tomorrows. Ronaldo's eyes are set with a fierce strength as he watches Miyako leave. Thank you for coming with me. Your presence gave me the courage to do this. Now I can fight Canopus with every ounce of my strength. There's only a little more to do. Together, we can build a future for mankind. I'll see you soon. I have to go tell the guys that backup's on the way. Alright, so that's Ronaldo's right there, and we have a few more we can still watch. We got Makoto's, Daichi, and Jungo's. Let's watch Jungo's, Makoto, then Daichi. And Jungo is trying to give his Chanwan Mushi to Miyako. What's going on? Are you trying to get, get her to buy that? <laughs> it doesn't cost any money. I'm simply done with making my new Chanwan Mushi, so I wanted Miyako to have some. That's good. Theoretically, the best. <laughs> I do not require it. I have no reason to accept your charity. You do so have a reason. You became our friend. So, it's a peace, Chowan Mushi. I put everybody's wishes into it. Aren't you gonna eat it? It's good. That is not the point. Jingo earnestly fixes his eyes on Miyako. What's with that look? <laughs> <sighs> the puppy dog look. Miyako hesitates, then slowly puts a spoonful and brings it to her mouth. <laughs> it's delicious. Theoretically the best, though. Because it's filled with everybody's wishes. If we all eat it together, it gets even better. We can get everybody together next time. I'll do my best to make a big meal. Eat with everybody? I don't remember the last time I ate with others. Eating was simply a way to supply nourishment. It never occurred to me that it should be an enjoyable activity as well. Miyako, you eat alone? Most often, yes. Occasionally, there were dinners with military and government officials, but that was no different than eating alone. Miyako, I still have Chawan Mushi left. Eat some with me. Jingo suddenly brings out another bowl of Chawan Mushi and begins to line them up in front of Miyako. Bruh, where are you pulling these Chawan Mushi from? Like, where is he getting this from? They're all really good. I wasn't aware he had a fairy to help him bring out items out of thin air. Oh, wait, Mr. Tori. Where were you keeping all this food? <laughs> I just said that. You walk away leaving behind an exuberant Jungo and a bewildered Miyako, as well as an unanswered question as to where Jungo got all that food. <laughs> where did he get all that food? See, Jungo leveled up. He can now SDTP. So now what we're gonna do is watch Makoto, baby. SDF soldiers are exchanging troubled looks because they're tools. Captain, have you heard? Rumor has it this whole area is going to be eaten by the void by tomorrow. 
Tomorrow? Can we really worry about others when our own lives are in danger? Yep. It seems pointless to keep evacuating citizens. Maintaining public order is a waste. I suppose nobody's around to punish us if we decide to leave our post. Captain. Let's get out of here. Who'd blame us for spending our last day as we wish? I guess you're right. My girlfriend's at the shelter. If this really is our last day, I want to spend it with her. Then go to her, boy. Wait! Bring that ass back here, says Makito. <laughs> Makito stops the soldiers. You're with Gyps? Look, you can try to report us, but there's nobody left to report us to. No, I'm not here to do that. This is a personal request. Please, hold this place a little longer. There are still lives you can save. What difference does it make? We're all void dust tomorrow when the whole world's gone. I promise we're going to stop the void. We'll have the world safe by then, please. Look, lady, you may be gyps, but even you can't do the impossible. I know you don't believe me, but you must try. It's my duty to stop the void. I ask once more, trust in me and stay stalwart till the very end. <laughs> Captain, we should go back. Are you sure? This may be your last chance to see your girl. How would it look if we abandoned our post while a young lady is out there fighting to save the world? I don't know about you, but I don't want to face my girl knowing that. <laughs> you got a point there, kid. I guess we're spending our last day on Earth together. Thank you. That sounds like Rowan. We can protect this place, but we leave the world to you. Just promise me you'll find a way to save it. I don't want to meet my end hanging out with this geezer. Damn. I promise. All right, then. Back to our post, boy. The SDF soldiers return to their duty. Their call of duty. Literally, they're playing the video game right now. Oh, hey. Were you watching? I'm sure they're afraid, too. Of course. We're the only ones who can alleviate their fears. Not just theirs. All of humanity's. Right. Just a little more. Just a little farther and we'll save this world. Let's do our best. Together. Together. Makoto stares at you with trust and resolve in her I'm eyes. gonna go find out how things are in the rest of the city. I'll see you soon. Makoto walks away. You don't hear her say, please, oh baby, don't go. All right, looks like we got time for one more event, and that's gonna be with Daich. The Daich Master, Shino Bazunoki. What the hell? You find Daichi in the street. Thanks for all your help, Daichi. It's always nice having a youngster come by from time to time. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I'll be back again soon. See you later. Well, hey, buddy, what brings you here? Taking a break? Looks like you're working hard. <laughs> Thanks. It's not much. Not like what you've done. But I've made up my mind. I'm gonna do everything I can to help out. No more running away from problems. Hmm. What are you talking about? Hm, let's say I see you. Yeah, so I've decided to keep busy until I could come up with something I could do to help. I was never really good at thinking, so... Hmm? Hey, I wonder what's wrong with her. That she points to a woman looking around nervously. <sighs> what the hell is this? Excuse me, are you all right? Huh? Oh, my son, he's lost. I tried asking people, but no one wants to help a stranger. Lost, huh? If the demons find him first, he's in big trouble. <laughs> it sounds like a pain. <laughs> what a douche. Let's hurry up and look for him. Yeah. Hey, ma'am, we'll help you find him. Could you give us some information? Distinguishing features? Where'd you see him last? Oh, thank you so much. Okay, got it. His name's Hayato, huh? Let's split up and look for him. Let's meet here again later. 
I can't thank you enough, both of you. We started to look for the lost boy with Daichi. The lost boys. You and Daichi called the boy's name, but to no avail. Hey! Hayato! Come out, come out, wherever you are! <sighs> this isn't working. Seriously, where could that kid be? Hey, Daichi, what brings you out this way? Come by to help some more? Hey, Gen, I'm looking for a kid. Have you seen any boys wandering around? His name is Gen. Daichi gives the construction worker the description of the boy. Oh, no, I haven't seen him, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. I'll tell the others to look, too. Oh, great. Thanks, Gen. You're the best. Oh, hey, don't mention it, Daichi. I'll ask around. Don't give up hope, young Daichi. <laughs> young Daichi. Young boy Daichi. Ah, he's a good guy. I always end up with him when we're trying to clear some of the debris. His name's Gen. Sweet guy. He cares a lot about his friends. Wait a second, that's it! Oh, dude, I just had an awesome idea. Can you go back and meet up with the boy's mom? I've got a plan that'll find him for sure. Alright. Daichi sprints off. You are right back at the meeting location, but the woman hasn't come back yet. After a while, the woman returns with lightning. I couldn't find him anywhere. Did you two have any luck? Hey, where's your friend? Why do you sound like Makoto? As she began to explain what happened, you heard Daichi's voice. Hey! Daichi is walking towards you with a boy in tow. Mom! Hayato Miyazaki, oh my god! Hayato! Oh my god, Hayato! I was worried sick! I promise you'll never run away again. I can't lose you as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> All the boys in this game look the same, dude. Literally. Hey, at least that boy looks like his mom. Man, I'm so happy for them. <laughs> Little Hayato. Little Hayato Miyazaki. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hayato, thank the nice boy. So this is how Hayato Miyazaki was so inspired to make those films. Thank you, Daichi. He went through two regressions. Aw, don't leave your mom again, okay? Mother and son walk away holding hands. I'm so glad we found him. Thanks for helping out. No problem. How'd you find him? I had a little help from some friends. You know how I volunteer here, right? I called in some favors from the people at the shelter, a couple of the local SDF guys. Everyone wanted to pitch in, so word got around really quick. We found him in no time. So, in the end, I guess I had to depend on others the whole time. I knew there wasn't much I could do on my own. That's your talent. Hmm? My talent? Yes. Socializing. W wait I'm not sure I get what you mean. Yes, you're a social network, bro. You put your all into everything you do. <laughs> Everyone loves you. I think I get it. We were able to find him because everyone I knew was glad to help out. And they all wanted to pitch in because I'd helped them in the past. I, I get it now. <laughs> I guess even I have a talent. <laughs> you didn't know? Oh, you didn't know? Huh? You, you knew? Yup. Hey, you could have just told me then. <laughs> Daichi smiles. Well, pal, shall we head back? Yes, onward to the final part of the game. You and Daichi walk off together towards the final battle. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Daichi even leveled up. Look at this. Daichi is now level 5. Good stuff.